years ago, decades actually. I was packing up after having just done a street show at Covent Garden in London and I was talking to the Welsh girl that I was dating at the time. The Welsh girl went on to become my wife, which is proof that I'm not a complete idiot, but the rest of this story is evidence that I am at least a partial one. Anyway, so I was packing up and a couple of audience members who'd seen the show came over to talk to me and they told me how much they enjoyed the show and they were generally very complimentary and nice and I kind of mumbled something about how it hadn't been a good one and I wasn't really happy with it and they sort of looked a little bit awkward and said thanks again and left and the Welsh girl that I was dating had a huge go at me these people had loved my show and had come over to tell me so and my reaction had been to essentially disagree with them, to tell them they were wrong to have liked it. What a dumb, arrogant thing I did. Your job in this situation, she told me, is to take the damn compliment. And of course, as she usually is, she was completely correct. But it can be hard when sometimes you think little of yourself to take a stranger's compliment. A couple of years ago I did a new show at the Edinburgh Fringe and I really loved doing that show. I loved the balance of stand-up, new tricks and honest talk about mental health. And you wouldn't think those things would go together but they totally did and they really struck a chord with audiences. I was really proud of that show. Um, the entire Edinburgh Fringe run completely sold out which had never happened to me before. I got the best reviews of my career, like 100% across the board incredible saying that I was smart and funny and important in my field it was ridiculous and I'm not saying any of this to brag I assure you that is just an unintended side effect I say this because even at the end of that the best fringe of my life hands down I still felt like a loser most shows I'd done up until that point had not sold out their entire run so I'd convinced myself that this one had because of luck or chance or some other outside factor but certainly not because of anything I did. I took the show on tour and it did pretty great but whenever I'd look out from the stage and see an empty seat I'd think to myself, see, I was right. I was obsessing over the people who hadn't come rather than the people who had. What an idiot. I always say how amazed and grateful I am that anybody ever buys a ticket to anything I do and it's true, anyone that bets their hard-earned money on me to be their entertainment from the evening has already paid me a huge compliment and I'll always do my absolute best to pay that compliment back to, to show them that I was worth the investment of their time and money but I still might feel like a big loser on the train home which means that I'm forgetting the lesson my wife taught me all those decades ago. Take the damn compliment. Simple as that. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do share it with anyone that you think might enjoy it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also maybe consider supporting my work on Patreon. And if you're not doing so already, please do follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you next time.